I'm Gareth from Park Cameras and today we're going to be looking at the Panasonic GX9. So the GX9 is a compact mirrorless camera from Panasonic. They very much designed it as a photographer's camera. Um, so what do I mean by that? It's very small, it's lightweight, um, it's super easy if you were gonna do street photography or travel photography, or if you're in a situation you need to pick it up and go, pop it in your bag, pop it in your pocket, it's ideal. It's so, I can't actually get over how small and just easy it is to use. It's got loads of really cool features built straight into the camera. So the screen flips up, so you can adjust that if you're shooting like that. And also the viewfinder flips up and down, which is super handy if you need to do one of those low shots and you don't want to contort yourself into some crazy position. So let's go over some of the features of the GX9. It's got a 20.3 megapixel micro four thirds sensor. And what that basically means is that compared to a full frame sensor, you're gonna be getting a two times crop. So if you're using something like this, with a 42.5 millimeter lens, that's actually gonna give you an 85 millimeter effective range. If you're using something like the 12 to 60, that's gonna give you 24 to 120. And for the size, that's incredible. If you're looking to get more range, that is incredible. That's the beauty of the Micro Four Thirds system. It's a really helpful thing if you're looking to get that, that more range out of that. So it's great for wildlife, it's great for street photography. It's a really handy system. It does continuous shooting of up to nine frames per second, which is great because if you need to nail that shot, for a camera with this price and this size, it's gonna be able to do it for you, and that's great. So I mentioned earlier that it's more of a photographer's camera than a videographer's camera. Um, it does actually shoot video, and it shoots video really well. It does 4K at 30 frames a second. It does full HD at up to 60 frames a second, which is actually amazing, especially, like I say, again, the size of this, that's amazing. But the reason I mentioned that they've designed it as a photographer's camera, they've, they've gotten rid of the mic jack. Um, there's no headphone jack, so there's no audio input or output from this. It's not really designed with vlogging in mind or, uh, or serious video use. Like I say, it's nice that it's got that 4K option and also full HD at 60 frames a second so you can use slow motion, but it's not designed primarily as a video camera. Uh, it's a nice thing to have the video in there, and if you're not bothered about that, it's a really nice addition, um, but it is primarily a photographer's camera. Let's talk about how the GX9 is different from the GX8. Uh, well, the first thing you're gonna notice is that it's a lot smaller. Uh, it's super small, it's super lightweight, and they've basically made it as a super easy option if you're heading out the door and you need to take a camera. The second thing you're gonna notice is it's got in-body five-axis stabilization. And that can be paired with the dual stabilization on some of the lenses, which is great for handheld photography. If you're doing low light photography, it's a super great system. Um, and the third thing is that it's not weather sealed, unlike the GX8. So one thing I really like about this camera is the autofocus. It's really quick, it's really accurate, and I've actually been relying on it quite a lot while I've been uh, testing it out, because it's just, it's really good. Some cameras, you get a lot of that sort of hunting back and forth. This one, it's straight in. Uh, I can't fault it at all. Um, in fact, it's got lots of really, really nice features built straight into the camera. Um, so there's a filter in there, for example, uh, which is just incredible. Uh, it's a black and white filter called L Monochrome D. Um, it mimics kind of some of the old black and white film cameras, and it's just amazing. Uh, it's, I mean, honestly, it's, it's like honey. It gives you really like nice contrasty black and whites. It gives you some really nice grays. It's oh. It's a, it's a it's personal favorite for sure. And speaking to some of the guys in the shop, it's uh, it's definitely a popular one. So it's got a really cool feature called sequence composition. And what that allows you to do is take a 4K burst of pictures, um, and then you pick the frames and stitch them together 
and you end up with this really cool action shot, the kind of thing you might see at the Olympics or in sports, but it's all done in camera. So you don't have to do any editing afterwards, it's all done which is amazing. It's a little bit of processing time, but uh, it, you know, it, it's incredible when you consider that you would usually have to sit there and edit for however long. Um, it's amazing to have that in camera. So all in all, this is a great option. If you're looking for a mid-range, mirrorless, interchangeable lens, compact camera, this is a really great option, especially if you're not worried about that missing mic jack. Really can't recommend this enough. As always, if you have any questions, pop a comment down below, and we'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you subscribe for future news and reviews and everything from this channel. And as always, thank you for watching.